Yes, I saw Philadelphia and I was very impressed and hence I decided to become a lawyer. If anyone of you who has not seen Philadelphia, I would strongly recommend that film. It has one of my favorite actors, Tom Hanks, and it's an awesome film. It's a, one of the best films ever made. So my request, please watch that film. So starting with my presentation, so yes, I am an associate partner at PSP Legal. So and PSP Legal is a is a boutique firm. As I've said in my in my speech, it's a small it's a boutique law firm and it's a full service law firm. Having said that, disclaimer. Now, according to the Advocates Act, lawyers are not supposed to advertise or solicit business. So this is uh, this is not an advertisement. It is just for your information, as mentioned there. And whatever whatever I say does not constitute a legal advice. If you want a legal advice. You'll have to meet me uh, in my office. We can speak somewhere else. So yes, but this is not a legal advice. So who are we? So ours is a law firm that was started in 2012 by Mr. Piyush uh, Singh and Aditya Parolia. Um, I think some people were there when Piyush gave that presentation. Uh, very intelligent person. One of the most hardworking and intelligent person I've met. And um, we started in 2012 and we are based out of New Delhi and Gurgaon. Plus we have associate offices at a number of places, Mumbai, Pune, Jaipur, Hyderabad. So we don't have a physical office there. We don't have a PSP office in Hyderabad. But we know through our network lawyers whom we can give work in Hyderabad. As of now, as is a small team of 18 lawyers, two partners, that includes two partners and one associate partner, that is me. What we do? We are lawyers, we practice law. That is what we do. Now, as I said, we are a full service law firm, which means we practice consumer disputes, corporate compliance, matrimonial, recovery matters, insolvency matters and criminal matters. In consumer disputes, the forte, our forte is in housing. So if you have a, if you bought a house, if you bought a plot of land and um, the builder is not delivering the project, there's a delay or nothing is happening, we can help you there. We can go to the court, make the, we can make the developer liable and we'll ensure that the, that the builder pays you what your dues are. And that doesn't necessarily mean only the amount that you've paid, but interest and other components also. Uh, I also handle corporate and insolvency matters. So if you have anyone who wants an agreement to be drafted, you can refer that person to me. Apart from that, insolvency, a very new thing that has come up from the insolvency and bankruptcy code. You must be hearing new amendments to the insolvency where home buyers will be treated as financial creditors. So we do all of that. Very progressive legislation that we have in this country. Otherwise, most of our legislations are from the British Raj. The Indian Penal Code was passed in 1860. So about 160 years old. What makes us different? So you'll have a number of law firms in Delhi. So what makes us different? One phrase to describe us would be out of the box thinking. Because we believe traditional ways may or may not work in today's world. Just to give you an example. If, let's say I was talking about the developer, the home buyer and a developer. So what if the developer is not giving you your house within, the t within time? The traditional way was going to a civil court, right? The problem with the civil court is pendency. 15, 15 years to kahi bhi nahi That's the unfortunate thing. So that's the traditional way of going. Going to the civil court, the problem with the civil court, pendency plus your court fees. You pay 2% of the value as your court fees. So if you have paid 60 lakh rupees, 2% is how much uh, people good with maths can. So, yeah, so that is that is the amount that you pay only as court fees plus you have your lawyer's fees extra. However, out of the box thinking, you take that to the consumer court, the court fees becomes 5,000. If you're going to NCDRC, which is the National Consumer Dis uh, Dispute Resolution uh, Commission, or if you go to the State Commission, it's even less. 
so that is a way of addressing the problem and getting a unique solution again the pendency at ncdrc is only about 14 to 16 months so from 15 years to 15 months and from 1.2 lakh as your code fees to 5000 code fees this is how it helps and we believe that every problem has a unique strategy and the same strategy doesn't work everywhere again to give you an example let's say you've done work for someone right and the person is not giving you your money right if the amount is not too huge let's say if it's around 5 lakh rupees a legal notice may help right if the amount is 50 lakhs a legal notice will never help so if you know anyone where an amount which is your first guy is about 50 lakhs 30 lakhs 40 lakhs and he or she has been recommended by a lawyer to send a legal notice that is the lawyer's way of making money a legal notice through a legal notice statistics has shown that no one's going to give you money there are different ways of handling it 5 lakh hai to different way 10 lakh hai uh, 20 lakh hai to different and if it goes beyond one crore then it's a different strategy and that is where we focus every solution a very different strategy because we believe our focus is on speedy resolution people come to lawyers only when there's a problem or else you won't even be friends with us <laughs> So, and the reason is that because people don't get speedy resolution. Jaldi kaam nahi hoga. Aap ek bar court ke chakkar mein aaye, uske baad it uh, sir, sir said 30 years. So, 30 years you're fighting the case, you're spending money, but you're getting nothing out of it. So, the important point here is speedy resolution. What shall you do? What shall we do to give you a speedy resolu resolution? Jaldi si jaldi. And when I say speedy resolution, I don't mean if I say I'll give you a relief in one week's time, I am blatantly lying. Very simple. I am blatantly lying. If a matter goes to a civil court and the and I say I am relief dila dunga, I am blatantly lying. But if I say ki main chhe mein aapko resolution dila dunga at NCLT, which is the National Company Law Tribunal, I am not lying. I am being correct because that can happen. At NCLT, under the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code, resolutions happen in nine months' time, six to nine months. So, yeah, it's six months, six months. Ex extendable by th uh, three months. But yes, not all matters can go to NCLT, so it really depends what the matter is. And we're very transparent, and I'm very proud to say that we're very transparent with respect to a fee structure. If we say a fee structure is X amount, we will stick to that X amount. We will not in future tell you is hearing ke liye itne paise chahiye, which is the which is the norm in the market. And people who know lawyers will know this. That is the norm. We've often heard clients coming to us and saying nahi hamare purane lawyer jo the wo to pehle itna amount bataya tha ab to har hearing ke liye paise batate hain we don't do that we never did that we are not doing that we will never do that you may find our fees to be on a higher scale i agree it could be on a higher scale having said that we don't cheat our clients what we say if we say we'll deliver you something in X months of time, we will do. We will ensure that we do that. It will be our commitment that we do that. Success stories. Our success stories are based are mostly in the housing arena. So if you can see that. We were one of the first law firms to obtain a favorable decision in a class action suit. So a class action suit, when you go to a consumer court, the three you can go it by three ways. Alone, single, or you can go as a group of people, or you can register an association and then go. So we were the first firm in India to go as a group and obtain a favorable decision. Not the biggest law firms ever thought that this was going to happen, but we made that happen. So we have a huge uh, client base of more than 18,000 home buyers whom we have represented and are representing. And over the last three to four months, we've held, we've assisted home buyers from the Unnati Group and from the Irio Group. Sorry. Yeah. To recover their money, and we made sure they got their money in 14 months' time. With IRIO, it was in 10 or 11 months time. They got all their principal money back. They got all their interest, interest, 
a certain 10% interest back. We also made the builder pay some amount as mental harassment and also some amount as their litigation fees. So it was a kind of a win-win situation for the, the home buyers. Because people think एक बार builder को पैसे दिए तो अब तो कुछ मिलना है नहीं। But that is not the case. Interestingly, statistics have shown that only five percent of the people who bought the house and are now stuck go to the courts. The problem is, unfortunately, if you don't go to the court, you will not get a single penny back from the builder. You will never get anything. You go to the builder, he will send a salesperson in front of you. You can cry, do anything. The 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 salesperson is there. He gets paid to listen, to listen to your screams, to listen to your all your anger. But trust me, you will get nothing out of it. The only way to get your money back is to go to NCDRC. Apart from that, there are other success stories also recovering money. So. If the amount is less than five lakh, we send a legal notice. More often than not, it helps. If that doesn't help, we try to circumvent it, circumvent the situation, and try to give it a criminal angle. एक बार पुलिस स्टेशन से फोन आता है, लोग पैसे दे देते हैं. That we have seen. अगर किसी के पैसे फंसे हैं, we make a criminal complaint. We try to circumvent it for uh, make it making it a cheating or a forgery case, right? Of course, with the facts. and then we get if required we get an fi registered but the police doesn't we make sure we go to the court and under 1563 of the criminal procedure code we get an fi registered against that person utne level tak baat jati bhi nahi usse pehle hi paise mil jate hain police station se ek bar phone aata hai a lot of people turn up and they give the money very simple so again as i said the important part here is that my client needs his money back he doesn't want to go to the courts he's not he's no more interested in listening to me ki kya civil remedy hai kya criminal remedy hai kya insolvency hai kya nclt no one is interested no one is inter unko bas ek hi cheez hai bhai mere paise kab de rahe ho paise kab doge kitne din mein doge kitne paise doge so every every situation has a very different strategy you name the builder and we filed a case against them be it tatas be it godrej be it ansel be it jp unitec m3m dlf irio mr anyone we have a case going against them the best part is these big names who have big reputation in the market they come to the court and we make sure they kneel down in front of the judge not in the literal sense but of course unko koi punishment nahi milti but these people thought that they can't be touched we made sure ki unko bula ke wahan pe bula ke the judge questions them dart bhi lagate hain and we make sure our clients get the money so that's my give and asks so my give is praveen khurana vp facilities of clifford chance business services that's my previous home where i used to work and uh, anju bala who's a hr head at ckd india private limited they have their office on sona road and my ask anyone who requires legal assistance anyone who requires any legal assistance any disputes be it matrimonial be it consumer be it anything we are there to so as i said we have the only two things why we don't deal in is taxation that's not a lawyer's forte frankly speaking so taxation is something we don't do and uh, a bit of ipr that we don't do because it requires some science and uh, technology driven uh mindset and training and unfortunately all the lawyers that we have we all lawyers no one's an engineer unfortunately thank you so much